Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 2 of 18 CS46 data communication and this link can be found in the description box, you can download this document, go through it and uh, you have to watch the theory video, that uh, link is also given in the description box, the playlist link, you can watch the theory video for this as well make sure you solve these questions very well because these are the super repeated, super important questions, you can't miss at any cost, ok so before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, your support helps me make more videos like this, ok so let's get started so I have collected six or um, yeah five uh, six questions I've collected. So module two is basically regarding the different ways you can encode. What you can do different ways you can encode. So different uh, ways of encoding like NRZ, NRZ, I, Manchester, RNZ. Okay. So uh, let's see what are the differences between what are the key points you need to mention in the exam script for getting maximum marks. So the first question is what is line encoding? Uh, before line encoding, you need to know why is uh, line encoding in the first place. What is the need for it? That you have to explain first because when once you explain the problem, then you have to explain to the solution you can't directly jump to the solution you can't write any further you will not be able to fill the sheet you will use marks fine that's why i'm telling first go and write the problem statement why is line can encoding used where all the problems are happening and then write what is line encoding and explain it uh, in depth after that give an example where it is used what are the different line encodings what are the categories of it all things a to z what are you uh, whatever you are supposed to write in the exam script all i've discussed in the theory video you can watch that fine mention the different characteristics of the line uh, coding techniques there are different techniques using which you can uh, encode the line like uh, for example I, uh, I told these things right so these are the different uh, things you need to know what are the um, peculiarities of these things and uh, what are its examples which all the applications use this what is its time and cost factor all th these are the super important key points you need to mention next we have the numerical part here if you are uh, done with the theory then go for the numerical before only don't go for the numerical okay so first uh, NRZ, NRZ, I, Manchester and RZ coding uh, encoding schemes like this the code will be given to you what you are supposed to do how you have to uh, write the final answer all those things i have discussed in the uh, theory video for each of these schemes what are the different formulas to be used what you have to do in different cases all those things i have discussed you can watch that so a super important question next uh, moving on we have ASK and FSK okay so um, this is a frequency and uh, this is analog I'm not sure just uh, ASK and FSK there is a separate topic I've discussed in the uh, video theory video you can watch that so uh, basically I have to explain the digital to analog conversion see digital is like this right digital is like this if I have to convert to analog what you're supposed to do you have to use this one ASK and FSK these are for the different contexts which context uses what what are its advantages disadvantages and the cost and time factor what is its purpose and what are the different parameters affecting that which are the different cases inside it those are the key points okay also in the um, which are the formulas used what are the different parameters and um why is those parameters present there? Okay, so those are the different uh, key concepts. All I've discussed in the theory video, you can watch that. Moving on, we have the next question, which is explain the three uh, step procedure to uh, pulse code modeling. Super, super important question PCM analog to digital. Just now we discussed digital to analog. You have to know, uh, now uh, tell about um, analog to digital. Okay, so if there is an analog signal, how do you convert it into digital signal? There is a three step process. In that, I guess quantization is also included, but uh, this is a separate question. So make sure you know both uh, pulse code modulation as well as quantization very well. So that's was about the, uh, the fourth question moving on to the fifth one we have described briefly different transmission uh, modes different transmission modes are there what are the uh, categories inside that and um, why is there different transmission modes what are its advantages disadvantages and the purpose of having different and what are the different contexts uh, in which we can be uh, it can be used and why there is a need, uh, need to use different transmission modes and uh, the different applications uh, using different transmission modes those are the key points you have to mention in the fifth question moving on we have the last question which is uh, explain quantization process with a need diagram first you have to explain what is quantization process why there is a need for quantization process see all the questions have the same uh, flow first you have to mention uh, why it is needed then you have to mention what it is then you have to give a, a theory explanation then you have to go in depth then you have to give example give the application in real life give the advantages disadvantages if there is any diagram make sure you make the diagram and um, you make uh, uh, make the diagram and explain each component in that and after that uh, you have to uh, also write um, what the what is the significance of each component used in the diagram like this you have to keep on writing if there is any formula you have to see that formula and write the formula and explain what are the different parameters like that if you, you keep on continuously flowing you'll score maximum marks okay so that's all for what i had for this video and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel your support helps me make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one